Hey everybody, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor and I am in sunny Florida on a family vacation and I've got my phone propped up on like my husband's uh, disc golf bag because I didn't bring a tripod with me down here and I wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys about my biz course that's launching. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to adjust this. My business course that's launching today and um, it's the enrollment is only going to be from now until Sunday, June the 3rd. So what, four days? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You've only got four days to sign up. Um, the reason it's such a short launch is because, number one, I'm on vacation. So um, I didn't want to feel like I had to be promoting this for like two weeks and um, trying to get people in it. So it's just a short enrollment time. Hey, Kay. And um, <clears throat> the other reason is that because the course is actually starting on Monday. And so I didn't want to have this huge leading up period that it was that you could enroll and then you're gonna have to sit around and wait for the course to actually start. The course is going to start on Monday, so get in before then. Hi Jennifer, how are you this morning? Good morning, Marilyn. Um, a lot of you guys have joined my Painters Clubhouse and you've been learning how to paint door hangers and I cannot tell you how proud I am of the women in that group. They have gone from being scared to cut out a door hanger, being scared to choose a brush to even get started, and being scared to do hand lettering to doing all of it. It's amazing. Hi, Alyssa. Good morning, Lisa. So if you guys are in my Painters Clubhouse, feel free to pop a comment in here and let me know how it's going for you. And if you're enjoying that group, this is something completely different that I'm talking about today. I don't want to confuse you because I know some of you guys were asking, how is the biz boot camp different from the Painters Clubhouse. There are several ways it's different. The Painters Clubhouse is a monthly membership that you sign up for and you get billed monthly. And in that group, I'm teaching you painting techniques and I'm teaching you tutorials for how to um, paint door hangers. But in the Biz Boot Camp, the Paint Party Biz Boot Camp, it is not a membership. It is a one-time course payment. It's gonna take six weeks to go through the course, but you will, I think the confusing thing is, is that I put you all in a community group on Facebook, a private community group. <laughs> yes, Alyssa, I'm in a different house. I'm in a, a, a Florida house. This is actually my grandmother's Florida home. Uh, it's her winter home that she comes to. And so um, we're here on vacation. And so my husband took all the kids to the pool and uh, I decided to go live and talk to you guys. Oh, thank you, Lisa, for sharing. You are just the sweetest. If any of you guys want to share this, I would so appreciate it because I've had so many people asking when this course is going to open again. So I don't want to confuse you. This is completely different from the Painters Clubhouse. In the Paint Party Biz Boot Camp, I am not going to be teaching you to paint. I repeat, I will not be teaching you to paint. You must already have some painting skills to start a business painting, obviously, right? I only teach you to paint in the Painters Clubhouse, and that's a monthly membership. This is not a monthly membership. This is a one-time course payment. After you pay for it, you will be in the course for six weeks, and um, you will have lifetime access to the course content. That will not change. Um, I will add you to a private Facebook group that is a community of about a hundred women so far in this group. And in the group, we, um, can ask questions like, what do you do at a paint party if this happens? Or, um, how do you guys, uh, ship a door hanger like this? You know, questions that come up in your business that you don't have anybody to turn to. You can turn to this group of uh, this private Facebook group of women who have already been running their own business. And I'm in there too. And I, I pop in and answer questions, especially if you tag me because sometimes, uh, I don't see them unless I'm tagged. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so this is not a monthly membership. This is a one-time payment. You get the six-week course. And during the six-week course, so Monday is the first week that it will start. Monday, June the 4th. Thank you for sharing, Alyssa. Hey, Paula. Um, so Monday is when it starts. And on Monday, you're going to get, each Monday during the course, you're going to get two videos. Um, and it's all going to be taught through teachable.com. If you've never seen teachable.com, it's like an online school. And so each week you will get an email that says your two training videos have been released for this week. You can then click to go log into teachable.com and you can access your two videos. Oh, thank you, Deanna. I'm so glad. Deanna, you're in the business group too, aren't you? This is the first time the biz course will be taught through Teachable and I'm so excited because Teachable is amazing. Like 
It is so easy to access the videos. You can comment on the videos. You can watch them again and again. And there are also bonus videos. So let me go through and tell you. On Monday, the first two videos to release will be, where do I start? Because that's what you need to know first, right? Where to start. So it's gonna talk about things like what to do if you've never had a paint party before, where to begin. And um, it's kind of go, gonna go through just a real short basic of kind of some supplies you need, what to do for your very first paint party, and kind of just how to get started. Good morning, Debbie and Susan. And then the second video you'll get is pricing advice because before you have a paint party, you kind of need to decide what your price is gonna be, right? If you're gonna have workshops or anything local, you need to decide how you're gonna price it and you need to kind of come up with a plan. That way, when you do have a paint party and people say, what do I need to do to have a party? You can tell them exactly what they need to do and exactly how much it's going to cost. So that's week one. So on Monday, week one, that's what we're gonna discuss. And then the following Friday, what is next Friday? Or Friday, June 8th. That will be our first live Q&A. And that will take place inside the private Facebook community group. So you'll access your videos. You'll have from Monday to Friday to watch them. And then I want you guys to like post inside the private group your questions, or you can just wait and join us live on Friday the 8th. And um, we will address your questions that you have. And I would like to try to keep the questions each week um, sort of tight. I mean, I don't mind if you ask me anything, but it would be nice if we could keep them pertaining to the current videos. Just because if we're in week one and you're asking me questions about, say, fundraiser paint parties, that's something we're going to be covering in a later week. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> you could sell me the moon and I'd buy it. You're so funny. What is that? Uh, selling uh, ice, ice popsicles to Eskimos? <laughs> You've loved all the courses that I've offered so far. You've learned so much. Oh, you're so sweet, Amanda. If y'all have not checked out Amanda, you need to go check out her page, Dressy Door Decor and More. She has been doing, uh, she just finished up her 30-day Facebook Live Challenge, and it was amazing. Okay, so week two, that will be not this coming Monday, but the next. We'll be covering two topics. Oh, LaToya, you've already signed up. I saw that. I'm so excited to have you join us. Um, in week two, you're gonna, we're going to be covering pre-party prep. What does that mean, pre-party prep? That means like, what do I do when I'm prepping for a paint party? Because a lot of people at these paint parties, they think, oh, this girl just shows up with all the supplies and makes a lot of money. They don't know what goes into it before you get to the party, do they? So, um, oh, hang on, Tracy's asking a question. I've not experienced enough for business yet, but want to someday. Should I join now or wait? I want to sell wood signs now. Um, this mainly focuses heavily on paint parties. I will tell you in a few minutes what some of the bonus videos are about, and those are things that will help you with your selling door hangers and whatnot. But this group will not reopen until sometime in 2019. I don't know if it'll be January or February, but I'm not gonna open it again this year. It'll be 2019 before it opens again. So Tracy, if this is something you feel like you'll be ready for in the fall, then yes, join now because you will have access, lifetime access to these videos. So whether you're starting to do your parties this month or in three months or six months, the videos will still be um, helpful to you whenever you're ready to start. I will say, if you are thinking about starting a paint party, business, the fall is the best time to have parties. I've been doing this for three years now and every year in September, October, November, I am slammed. Like I'm talking, I could have 15 parties a month if I wanted to, but I, I don't have the capacity to manage that many parties. On average, I think I was doing 10 to 12 parties a month and um, bringing in well over probably $4,000 a month in income in those three, those three months. And so um, it is very easy to get parties booked during those months. People are just in the mood to craft and decorate. I don't know what it is. So if you're thinking about it, I definitely would recommend giving it a try because if you're gonna wait till like January to start your business, January is slower. It's not bad, but it's slower. If you're gonna wait till like next spring, I'm gonna tell you April and May are my hardest months to book parties. And sometimes I can get parties booked during those months, but getting people to come to the parties is even harder because people have baseball and vacations and prom and graduation and all that stuff. So um, just think about when you want to start that business and definitely in the fall is the most successful time to get it rolling. So 
I hope that answers your question, Tracy. Okay, so for week two, paint party prep is gonna be video number one, and I'm gonna kinda go through what I do to prepare for a party before I get there, because there's a lot of things you can do in advance before you even leave your home to go to the party that will save you time at the party and that will um, just make things go smoother. So it's just kinda like cutting out all of those little things that you would normally do at the party that you could do before the party to save you time. Because let me tell you, I didn't have anybody teaching you, t teaching me how to do uh, paint parties. I wish there had been a course like this. And if there was, I was not aware of it. I wish I had had a course like this that would teach me the shortcuts for how to run this business. Because my very first party took four and a half hours. That's crazy. It was a long time. It was nearly midnight before these poor ladies got to go home and they had a blast, but I was exhausted. I flopped on the couch when I got home and my husband's like, well, that took longer than you thought it would. And I'm like, yeah, you're telling me I'm worn out. And if I had known a few things that I'm gonna be teaching you guys about pre-party prep and paint party supply organization, because that's video number two, paint party supply organization, um, those two things right there <laughs> really would have saved me a lot of trouble because I can't tell you how many parties I've gotten to that I've forgotten little things like uh, the staple gun. That's kind of important. Or I've forgotten my hair dryer. Or I've forgotten my stencils. <laughs> or I've just not had everybody's cutouts like I'm supposed to. And that still happens from time to time because we're human and we're going to make mistakes. But there have been times when I've showed up and I've not had somebody's door hanger. So what do you do when that happens? That's kind of the stuff I'm gonna be teaching. Felicia says, have you talked about price? Sorry, chasing wild kids outside and watching. No, Felicia, the price is gonna be revealed. I want you got the reason I can't just tell you the price right now is because I want you to like click over, read about it, see what all is involved, and then click the enroll button. And when you do, the price will be at the bottom of that page. If I tell you right now, you might not hop over to my website and check it all out. So I just want you to go over there, read about it, See for yourself what all you get because it is kind of confusing as far as um, if you're not aware of this course, you may not know what all is involved. And there is a lot of value in here, a lot. I've put so many hours into this course and preparing it for you all. And not just the hours that I've prepared to make this course, but the three years of learning how to run my business there's so much value in that because I wish, like I said, I wish that I could have picked somebody's brain when I started my business. I wish that I could have taken a course like this where somebody had all of this experience and could tell me what to do because I didn't and it would have been so much better. Heather says, that's my problem. My parties take forever. Well, girl, I hope that we can help you um, shorten up those parties. But I will say some of that stuff just comes with experience because even after I implemented some of the things that I implemented, my parties would still go about three and a half hours, which is long. I like to keep them under three hours, if at all, um, if at all possible. So um, the things that I teach are things that I have used and I still am learning. Even after three years, there's still things now that I'm like, ooh, I should tweak that to make this business better or to make things go smoother. And so as I'm learning new things, I'm sharing those things with my biz ladies in the group. Okay, so let's move on to week three. Week three, it's party time. That's what the title of that um, lesson is about because when it's party time, you're kind of in a panic and you're nervous and you don't know what to do when you get to the party. So I'm gonna cover in that video exactly what I do when I arrive and exactly um, what you should do to set up and get things going and what to do when people start walking in the door because you kind of like have this sense of wanting to clam up when people walk in the door. And um, you think, oh, you know, should I start talking now? Should I wait till they all get here? Should I, um, you know, stand on a chair and make an announcement? Uh, what should I do? And so the things that I'm teaching in that, that lesson are kind of like to guide you, okay. And you might even wanna take notes. This is what I need to do first when the first person walks through the door. This is what I need to do when everybody's finally here. This is what I need to do when everybody's seated and getting started, so. That's what that video covers. And then in, also in week, and that's a pretty big video. It's got, a, it covers a lot. So I've also got, the second video is gonna be kind of short that week. It's about uh, a quick bow making at paint parties because I used to carry all of my ribbon with me to my paint parties and they were all still on the roll and in shoe boxes. And it was a helter-skelter mess, let me tell you. <laughs> As Candace, I have too. 
<laughs> we short girls have to do that. And I have a big mouth, but when there's a lot of ladies talking and painting, it's hard. Uh, Debbie, how long is it? Um, if you're talking about the course, it's six weeks long. Each week you get two videos. And the videos can range anywhere from 40 minutes long to like just eight minutes long. You know, some of them are short. Like I said, the quick bow making video is only like eight minutes long. But the other videos are more like 30 to 40 minutes. Some of them are like 20 minutes. So I try to keep them kind of short just because you guys don't have two or three hours every day to watch videos. So um, you will just, they'll be short little nuggets that you can, you know, sit down, jot down a few notes and then go back to making dinner or whatever. Or you might even be able to listen to them while you're making dinner. <laughs> That's okay, Debbie. You can go back and watch it from the beginning at the end. Okay. Um, week four, we're going to be covering hostess communication tips and organizing your Facebook events for the party. Okay, these are two things that I've kind of just figured out along the way. Um, it's funny because if you sign up for a direct sales company like Pampered Chef or Mary Kay or something like that, they're gonna talk to you about communicating with your hostess. And you probably are gonna think, eh, you know, we just text back and forth, like that's not that important. But there are things that if you say to your hostess, or if you communicate clearly with your hostess, it's gonna make your party much more effective and much more um, successful. So uh, things like what to say to her when at right, right after she books her party, what to say to her um, right before the party, like a reminder, and then what to say to her right after the party. Like right after the party, I usually send a message that says, thank you so much for hosting the party, it was a blast. Um, I just posted the pictures on Facebook. If you will, please go and tag everyone on those photos. That way um, they will get to see their picture with their door hanger. And what that does is it gets more eyeballs on your Facebook page and it gets more followers on your Facebook page and it kind of um, gets everybody to share those photos on their Facebook page. So it just helps grow your page and it gets your name out there some more because if it's a local party, obviously all those local people are going to see those photos of their friends that got to go to that party and they're gonna think, oh, I didn't know anybody in my town was doing this. And they're gonna look for you and contact you about booking a party also. So it kind of just snowballs and you get more parties booked. Okay, and then organizing a Facebook event for the party. I've got my computer right here and I'm like looking at my notes. Um, organizing your Facebook event for the party. I show you exactly how I set up the Facebook event for the hostess and how I communicate with the guests in there about what they're wanting to paint. So I show you how to organize all of that and I even give you like a copy uh, a typed up copy of the exact wording that I use for my events and the exact wording that I use to communicate with my hostess. So you could just copy and paste those in if you want to. Um, week five, we're going to be covering troubleshooting paint party problems. And so I cover like, I think it's six of the top problems that I have had ladies in my biz group say that is a problem for them. And I address how to, to combat or troubleshoot each of those problems. And then also in week five is building a successful Facebook business page because that is very important if you wanna get your name out there and if you wanna look legit, you have to have a Facebook page that you're very active on and you have to share lots of photos and have lots of people tagged in your photos and things like that. So I share lots of good tips, juicy tips for how to have a successful Facebook business page. Um, week six, we talk about specialty parties like um, a mom and me party or um, a ladies night out party, a bachelorette party. You can do paint parties for all of those different occasions. Um, <laughs> funny that you ask Amanda, cause that's week, week six, video number two. We're gonna be talking about virtual paint parties and kind of how to do a virtual paint party and how that runs and how to know if you're kind of ready to start doing virtual paint parties. Okay, so you also are gonna be getting six bonus videos. Now the bonus videos, after you sign up, after you enroll in the group and pay for, or in the course and pay for it, you get access to those six bonus videos instantly. Now the videos that are gonna be doled out throughout the weeks, you'll get an email that says your videos are ready. But these bonus videos are instantly available to watch now. Uh, bonus video number one is how to use a jigsaw. Bonus video number two is how to ship a door hanger. Hosting a flash sale using acuity scheduling. If you've never heard of acuity scheduling, that is what I use 
for um, sharing my calendar with potential hostess. So I set up on Acuity scheduling my schedule and I can just send a link to the hostess and she can go and see all of the available dates that I have and she can actually book her party on Acuity scheduling. Uh, video number five is choosing a business name. So if you're brand new and don't even have a business name, I help you choose a business name. I give you some tips for picking a business name. Now, video number six, it's just a video about fundraiser paint parties. I do address fundraiser paint parties in week six when I talk about uh, specialty parties, but I talk about it more in depth in this bonus video. So, hi Carla from Odessa, Texas. So, do any of you have any more questions about this biz course? I will be going live every day from now till Sunday to kind of remind you guys that the course is open until Sunday. Sunday's the last day to sign up. If you want to know how much it costs, if you want to read more about what's involved, go over to my website. I put the link at the top of this live video, or you can also click sign up at the top of my, my Facebook business page. There's a little blue button that says sign up. That will take you to my website as well. Carla, um, I'm not going to announce the, the cost here in the live video because I want you guys to go over and read more about it and then click enroll. And when you click enroll, it will tell you the cost over on the website. Hi, Felicia. She says, how do you do craft fairs to get people to do paint parties? You know, I used to do a few craft fairs the very first year when I first started. Um, but I kind of, I mean, I did in the very beginning when I didn't have very many paint parties at all. And I actually did farmer's market every Saturday morning. And I would set up and paint door hangers at the farmer's market as people are walking by. And I would just try to draw people in and talk to them and kind of tell them about my business. But it kind of became the situation where eventually I was having more paint parties on Saturdays or on days when the vendor events would be taking place. And so then I was having problems because it was like, well, do I choose to do this vendor fair, this craft fair, or do I choose to have a paint party that day? I can make more money at a paint party most times than I can at a craft fair. So if you don't have any parties booked, craft fairs are a great way to get your name out there and get started, but you will probably find that eventually you can make more money having a paint party on that day than going to that craft fair. Tammy, if you want more info, click the link at the top of this live video. After we end the live video, you should be able to just click that little link at the top. Oh, I totally forgot. If you comment me, <laughs> I had my virtual assistant set this up and I totally forgot. I forgot. If you comment me, it will send you a private message to go directly to the website. Y'all, I get to talking and I completely forget. So, um, comment me and it will send you directly to the website to sign up. Heather says she's signing up today. You didn't when I first opened it. Yay! I'm so excited, Heather. I'm so happy to have you with us. So, don't forget comment me and it will send you directly to the website to sign up if you would like or you can just read more about it if you're not ready to sign up but you do have from now until sunday to sign up um, june the third course begins on monday but if you want a little something to do over the weekend you can go ahead and watch those bonus videos there's six of them and that will keep you busy from now until uh monday so um, unless you guys have more questions, I think that's all I have. Now, I will tell you on the sign up page at the bottom, if you scroll down just below the enroll now button, there are some testimonials from previous group members who have been through this course with me before. And actually, when they went through this course, it didn't have near as much content as it does now. I have added to this course, this is the third time I've opened it. I started it in October. And then I had it again, I opened it again in January. So this is the third time we've launched this course. And every time I've added new content and made it bigger and better. So if you join it now, it's probably gonna cost you less than if you wait until like 2019 when I started again, because I'll probably relaunch it in 2019 and the price may change then, I'm not sure. And um, I will be probably adding new content when I open it in 2019 because I've added new content every time that I've done it so far. And the people who are have joined it in October at the lowest price that it was ever offered, they have con access to all of this content that um, I'm releasing to you guys now because they were the founding members of that course. So Christy says, I have a scroll saw. You need some patterns. Well, girl, you can hop over to southernadornmentsdecor.com and I've got tons of printable templates on there uh, that you can purchase and download instantly and use for your scroll saw. So, all right, well, I'm going to go join my kiddos at the pool, and I will be back with you again tomorrow to talk about 
how to know if you're ready to start your own paint party business because some of you are thinking about it but you're not sure if you're ready so stay tuned tomorrow also if you are not subscribed to get live alerts for when I'm going live on my page send me a private message with the word live alert and it will ask you if you want to be um, signed up for that so that way you will not miss it when I go live tomorrow talking about how to know if you're ready to start your own paint party business. But you guys have a wonderful Thursday. It is Thursday, right? I'm on vacation. It's hard to remember. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the pool. See you guys later.